You may not know it, but what you're doing to keep your home clean may actually be harming you and your family. And some of these products could be at the root of those problems. Dr. Anthony Martin is here this morning to tell us how to avoid some of the products that we're using that might have some yucky stuff in it and some healthy alternatives. So good morning to you. Uh, good morning, Steph. And, you know, really important to understand that, you know, we talk about global warming and how dangerous that is. One of the worst places for your health is in your own home. Really? If we were to take just these here, Stephanie, and, and, and try and bring them on an industrial site, you couldn't get on there. But yeah, they're in our homes. Seriously? And the people that are... Why, the, why could you take... Why could we not Because they're that? dangerous. They're really? dangerous and, the, and, and the, the, uh, the companies won't let them on there unless you have special uh, equipment, special suits to bring them on. That's how serious this wow. is. Now, Steph, listen. Uh, 85,000 new chemicals created since World War II. Most of them are found in our homes. And here are the most susceptible people, children and women. And here's why. All of these chemicals here create inflammation within the body because the body sort of responds to it to try and defend itself. And for women, it increases the hormone level, especially the estrogen levels. Mm. What's happened with that is that cancer now, breast cancer especially, is out of control. Now, this is one of the main reasons. There's other reasons, but this is one of the main reasons. When I started practice in the 70s, one out of 20 women in the United States had a chance of getting breast cancer. You know what it is today? It's one out of eight. And they say by 2010, it'll be one out of six. Wow. And the reason that these chemicals stay in the body, that's the problem, and they create a real problem. Now, for children, it's even worse. They're like the little canaries in the uh, coal mines. They, their little immune systems really get bombarded by that. So what I'm saying, and, and I, I brought a couple of examples here, Steph. This here, okay, air fresheners. I've got one in my closet. Yeah, you know what? Literally, Step, as we speak. <laughs> get rid of it, okay? okay? I, I, I hate to tell you that, but I'll, I'll give you a good, a good alternative. What am I going to do with my okay. shoes if they you start know, to get you know what? what am I, I going to use? I'm going to show you that. But you know what? you really got to get rid of that because it is cancer-causing. Really? Now, one of the problems with air fresheners, it starts a little uh, problem of lining in the uh, sinuses there, especially along the nose. And this can cause uh, liver damage, okay? Mm -hmm. And it gets into your system and very, very serious. Here's a bad one. <laughs> it's I've heard this before, but <laughs> I've only heard it with respect to being, uh, helping you or preventing you from being able to fight off disease. Yeah, okay. Like far too many people are using this now, uh, and that is antibacterial mm -hmm. uh, soaps and that. And the problem is it does kill your good bacteria, too. You've got to understand that in the body, you need that good bacteria, okay? And, and good bacteria beats the, the, the bad bacteria. But here's another thing. One of the chemicals in here actually stays in your body and can cause, again, kidney failure. And it's very serious. Again. What kind of numbers are we talking about? Are we talking a remote, no, if, remote chance of no, that? No, no. As a matter of fact, um, you know, the, any... Even a little bit of these chemicals in the body are dangerous. dangerous. And, mm -hmm. and really what I'm saying is you've got to use alternative stuff, okay? And, here, and, and just to, to go quickly, this is another one that's uh, probably, uh, this has been linked to autism, the chemical in here, okay? The solvent in here that cleans uh, in, uh, in terms of cleaning your oven. And, uh, you know, this one is for uh, cockroaches and all that. Very, very serious uh, problems. Let me ask you this. You're not specifically referring to only these products. You're referring to anything that does the same type of thing. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, the good news is, is that there's alternatives to that, okay? okay. And I talk about this in my book, and I, I explain to people, look, um, because you're, you're living in your home, and you, we, we spend 90% of our time indoors. You know, mm -hmm. it's different than mm -hmm. it used to be 30, 40 years ago. We, and and the, that, that, those chemicals stay, especially if you have carpeting, okay? Mm -hmm. So watch that, and, and, you know, go to the alternatives. I would, I've just shown here stuff, like, uh, for example, for spraying, you just, uh, this, is, this is oil of oregano spray, okay? Oil just of by oregano? spraying that, okay? What is that? <laughs> now, you know, the stuff you put on your pizza? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a spice Here. and uh, really, really good. You know what? It kills uh, bacteria and viruses. It's an antiviral. <laughs> anti, uh, it's really, and it has a nice fresh smell to it. Mm -hmm. Completely natural, no side effects. Just using lemon juice, okay? Uh, uh, one of the best all-purpose cleaners. If you take lemon juice, a little bit of uh, a quarter of a cup of that, quarter of a cup of vinegar, vinegar, you know, almost like the, what the guy firefighters were using there, right. uh, and, and a little bit of borax, which is natural, 
You put that in with a couple of drops of, um, uh, you know, liquid soap, and you've got one of the best all-purpose cleaners you can. Completely natural, no side effects. How good is it at tackling the germs that linger oh, in our homes? Right. You know, because so many people are afraid, you know, of the salmonella that's yeah. the leftover on the counters or, you know, from the salmon that maybe, maybe we cook in yeah. the kitchen. Well, if you were to spray this, for example, on your countertop and that, that, that is better than any chemical that you could ever Where do you use. get that? You can get that at any uh, health food store. Um, you can get it at uh, a lot of pharmacies have that. And it, again, it's just a, it's a common thing, but people don't realize these chemicals really do create havoc in your body. Wow. And so if the alternatives are just as effective. Just as effective if, if and a lot more. less expensive when you really think of what you pay for getting all these things. And I, 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 we're a society that just way too much into uh, cleaning and over cleaning. And you really want to make sure that, uh, you know, that uh, you don't, these chemicals are, are, are you know, 400 percent, Stephanie increase in asthma today. Mm. When, when I went, uh, when I was uh, finished practice, you know, one out of 20 kids would have asthma. Today it's one out of three. Wow. And, and the reason is, that one of the big reasons is, is the, all these chemicals in our home. So what I'm saying is use alternatives, get my book. I talk about how to test and see if those chemicals are in your body. We've got the book right here. Right there. We're gonna, thank you so much, Dr. Martin. Thanks, Dr. Appreciate it. For a list of the top 10 hazardous household chemicals, we'll have that available on our website. And again, the book is called Medical Crisis Secret, Secrets That Your Doctor Won't Share With You, of course, by Dr. Anthony Martin. All of this available right there on SonoranLiving.com. Make sure you check us out. Come